Hey guys, I'm gonna vlog today, <laughs> not an ASMR video for a change, so let me know in the comments, are you team ASMR or not? I would really like to know because it feels like it's 50-50, but I don't know. So yeah, today I'm gonna work at a festival. Crazy, huh? That's why I have these space buns in my hair. It's the first time I'm doing it, but I think it turned out pretty cute. It's raining like crazy. And I'm gonna take the bus, so I sprayed the hair a lot. I hope it lasts. I'm gonna work in the kitchen. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> it's a reggae festival. I've never been there before. I wanted to go there many years. And I sent them an application and they replied back. I have some experience working in a restaurant, so yeah, it will be fun. I realized that I forgot highlighter, but I applied that now to my face and to my collarbone. Yeah. <laughs> it's not the greatest weather, but in Sweden there is a saying that goes Det finns inga dåliga väder, bara dåliga kläder. It means there's no bad weather, there's only bad clothing. Do you guys take any vitamin supplements? I eat vitamin D. I took blood tests at the doctors a while ago and uh, I had a lack of vitamin D, so these are chewables. This is me editing. I also take omega-3, magnesium, immune support, and yeah, I think that's it. Some days I just don't eat that well, so I take extra supplements. I had to take so many different buses that day. I missed the bus that I had to take. So the next one would go in like an hour. So yeah, that was no fun. But took a walk, was restless, grabbed something to eat and then I took the bus. My pants and shoes were so wet even though I changed back at my mom's. <laughs> It wasn't just a little bit of rain, it was extreme weather that day. But I'm stubborn, I wouldn't let that make me give up. You know, if I've decided to do something, I usually do it. So I was in the middle of nowhere, there were no signs, I had no clue where to go. I was a little bit scared. It was kind of creepy, I'm not gonna lie, but then I found a woman who seemed to live there. I asked her for directions because at first I walked the opposite way. I was about to get really lost, but she was like, walk this way and then you go through the woods, kind of. There's a truck that picks people up from a parking lot, I found that out afterwards. But I was all alone. <laughs> there were no people at the bus stop or anywhere, really. This is crazy. <laughs> if this isn't an adventure, I don't know what is. I hear the music, but I can't figure out how to get there. So I finally found it. I think I walked the wrong way because I got in like from the back. <laughs> Both my hair and my makeup got ruined, <laughs> but nothing to cry about, just keep it going. 
So I got to working, peel some carrots. And after a few hours, I went to the festival area to check it out. I haven't been to any festivals really, so it was fun to explore. People are selling different kinds of things like candy, handmade stuff, jewelry. I saw that they were serving African food. That would be nice to try. I didn't get the chance, unfortunately, but yeah. Next time, maybe. I thought it would make some new friends. I thought Reggae people would be really warm and welcoming and accepting and all that, but I didn't really feel that. Sometimes, or a lot of the time, I do feel like an outsider and we humans, we want to belong. But it's just hard to find like-minded people, I think. So I got to take the truck on my way back, at least. He drove me to a parking lot and gave me directions how to get to the bus stop. It was like 20 minutes, maybe. It was a bit creepy. Because you never know, would you trust the bear or a man in this situation? Nothing happened, but if I would go there again, I would want to be more prepared and go with someone. This was a little bit too crazy of an adventure. And I got there the last day and the weather was the way it was, so I guess people were grumpy because of that, maybe. At least it's not raining anymore. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> I found the bus stop in the middle of nowhere. Now I'm going home. Have you heard that TikTok? I wanna go home. <laughs> That's how I feel now. I wanna take a shower. I wanna wash my hair. And I don't wanna get kidnapped and unalived. Now I'm waiting on my bus. I don't know if I should laugh or cry now. Oh, my hair is a mess. Felt awkward working in the kitchen because I felt like one of the girls didn't like me. And I didn't know what to do because I wasn't there at the introduction. It just felt awkward. But now I know what it's like and I got these burnt almonds sugar coat. I don't know my mom likes these. But she prefers the warm ones, but I wanted to bring her something at least. She wanted to go to this festival but we didn't know if dogs were allowed. There was no number to call, but I asked mm -hmm. someone and they're not allowed for their own sake. I talked to a girl, she's gonna stay at a tent tonight, sleep at a tent. Most of the people who work there are going to do that, I guess, but she was like, our tent is filled with water. But I realized that it must be a nice experience as well because they get to spend the whole evening together, listen to a lot of live music, go take a swim nearby and all of that. So pros and cons. Had to wait an hour for the bus to come. At least I had battery on my phone so I didn't feel that alone. I was able to charge it in the kitchen. The bus should come now in like two or three minutes. Oof. That's my bus. Home sweet home. All I did was cuddling with my puppy after that. I got a little bit sick for being cold and wet and 
Yeah, it was stressful, but it was worth it. I love a good experience. And I love to try new things, challenge myself. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and stay tuned for upcoming videos. Take care and peace out. I'll see you soon. Bye.